Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Project 365. I am Corey with SB Pace. That's Julie with SB Pace. And in the month of October, we are talking about metrics and reporting. And uh, in the same theme, we are going to have me ask Julie the question, and she's going to take the first crack at it. So who should I share my reports with? Whoever needs to see them, whoever needs to see the information and either take action on it or um, just understand the data. What about people who don't need to take action on it? Like how transparent should you be with your numbers? Uh, could I say it depends on what's on the report? <laughs> well, obviously. Um, I don't, I, I think you should be, uh, you know, I'm all for transparent um, business owners. I, I think that that's important, but I also think you need to be cognizant of what, who, who's looking at the data, right? So internally, like, you should feel comfortable sharing the information. I mean, I like to say, if you can't trust your employees, they shouldn't be your employees. So you should be able to share data with everyone on the team, especially if it impacts their business or it helps to provide them information, impacts their job or helps them provide information to do a better job. I'd agree with that. Uh, with one caveat, you don't want to be an oversharer. Because oh, if you people anyway. are constantly getting flooded with reports in their inbox or whatever, it's it's like the boy who cried wolf almost. They're gonna just stop looking at the emails if you're just getting tons and tons of emails with stuff that I don't doesn't matter and I can't. There's nothing I can do with it. But that's fair. That's a good. That's a very good point, Corey. All right. That's it for today. So we will see you tomorrow.